everyone. Hello, this is Kimmy Wyatt. I'll be around there in about five, six seconds. Hello. Whoop. It's amazing. Um, before I get started, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click that notification bell so that you will be one of the first to get notifications of new vids I post up. Scroll down where the text is posted for the video. You will find some terms, T-E-R-M-S. I ask that you look those terms up via a video format platform, and right now that's YouTube. Oh. Uh... I'm having a woosah moment, you guys. Hold on. Mm. Have you ever thought that you were dreaming? Well, not dreaming, having a nightmare, but it's been extended. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, was, what was I saying? Um, YouTube channel. Um, terms. Oh. Oh. My products. If you would like to order my skin and hair care line products, please scroll down as well where the text is posted as well, excuse me, where the text is posted for the video. You will find that information. And lastly, if you're trying to get in touch with me, that information that's on the video is correct. Wink, wink. Unless I haven't changed it on some of them, but it's correct predominantly 80 something percent. And uh, if you call me or whatever, and for some reason it doesn't sound like me or I'm telling you to do something else, call another number or whatever, it's not me, okay? My cell phone has been hijacked. My SIM card has been hijacked over and over again. And so there you go. So what is SIM card hijacking? Actually, if you go to the playlist called The Blue Cup in the Attic, I have some videos there, I think the most current videos, and I'm speaking on SIM card hijacking. I'm not going to go into it right now, but basically what that means is is uh, that your SIM card has been mirrored, meaning they can make calls, they can receive calls, they can make text, send text messages, whatever you can do, basically, they can do. So if you're trying to get in touch with me and you know it's not me, I'm telling you, Oh, go to this website or order this company's products. Why would I do that? That's a red flag. Please let me know. Um, this couch, just a couple of explanations before I get started um, with, with the topic. This couch. Oh. Used to be in mint condition. I've only slept on it one time. Sofa sleeper. I've slept on the top, matter of fact, when I got it in here that, that first day I slept on it, or night, yeah, I got it, I slept on it, on the top, but like rolling it out, you know, so sleeper, no, just one time, and I had a guest sleep on the sofa sleeper, mid condition, why am I sunken down, you want to know, because I told someone that I would sell them this couch when I moved. They, they could buy it from me before I moved, you know. And uh, having that conversation with them, I knew that this couch would be destroyed. You know why? One of the goals of gang stalking is to stop the victim from making money. Some people say four goals. I say five. I have a video called The Five Goals of Gang Stalking. Um... You don't know if you can see that video right now because I'm just now putting those videos back into the playlist. And so um, uh, the gang stalking videos because I had said, you know, Kimmy, focus on your skin and hair care line. You know, focus on your skin and hair care stuff. And, but I'm, I'm, and, and my goal was to create another channel at some point after I disabled all the videos. I said, well, just create another channel for just for gang stalking because the two don't really match up you know, skin and hair, gang stalking. Then I found out you can't just transfer videos to another channel you create. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I would also lose my current views. And so I'm like, nah, just, just put them back in. Just put them back in. What does I have to do with you and your skincare and your hair care line, you know? Um, so I, I'm putting the videos back in. I have not put all of them back into the playlist, but there's like 
54 or something there right now or 60 something I don't know of like 80 something um, but I want to talk to you guys today about gang stalking coronavirus and customer service what 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 yeah oh another explanation my hair uh, shrinks for those of you who <laughs> Who are wondering what's going on with my hair my hair uh, uh, shrinks 70% literally of the length of my hair so I've got these cute little balls I've got these cute little balls here yeah so just to let you know what's going on okay so you guys coronavirus I know it's out there it's prevalent it's it's, it's a done deal it's just, it's everywhere you know this is December 2020 um, I know this, but being a victim of gang stalking for me, and I'm sure for others who people don't even know they're a victim of gang stalking, and I really feel sorry for them because they will hack into your accounts, every single freaking account you have. Me, you know, trying to do something or doing something, they're going to hack into my things, you know, stealing, trying to uh, duplicate or replicate my products. You can't do that sorry moving right along so I'm like what the what the hell so what happened was um, just as an example many I have many examples I can pull out the hat but uh, one of my accounts I'm not gonna say what account it was um, major major I uh, they kept hacking into this account and I'm like how are they doing this and um, when I called customer service because of coronavirus and people working out of their home, um, my the manager that took my call because it needed to be escalated to the manager was at home. And I'm like, what in God's creation? You're at home? You know, so you're like going through this. Are you really the manager or are you just saying that? And, you know, a couple of things. And I was like, okay, I, I, I realized they were really the manager and, um, they, they looked at, in my account and could see things that I knew that only they would know, even with the gang stalking, only they would know these certain things that I was, um, we were discussing. So, okay. I felt a little at ease, but you guys, why was this manager at home taking my information, my call considering gang stalking? And if it's not even gang stalking people that just have access to your stuff for instance this was my concern and I, I let her know I said thank you for helping me I really appreciate your help this broad mind you guys I swear you excuse me <laughs> normally I wouldn't be messing with my my boobies on camera but I'm Kimmy I don't care okay so so with that being said I'm like I know you're the manager and everything which is which is cool yay but like, what's going on in your home? Are you being hacked into? Um, did they come in your home before they gave you the authority to look into people's accounts? Did they come in your home and see if, you know what I'm saying? What, what's, what's going on? People be careful. You do have the right when you call a company that has your personal information, cell phone, bank, cell phone company, bank, I don't care your bills. You do have the right to ask them, are you working out of your home? This is a major concern for me. Because I got I have 11 Bluetooth minimum in my apartment. And I've gone over this before with you guys. Yet, I don't have any Bluetooth devices on. I'm not talking about Wi-Fi for those smarty pants. Well, Wi-Fi. No, I'm not talking about Wi-Fi. I'm talking about Bluetooth. Bluetooth has to be in the area. Not Wi-Fi. I can probably get some. There's a fire station down here. I can probably get some someone's you know, Wi-Fi at the fire station or whatever. Get the fire station's Wi-Fi. Totally different thing. So, my arms are not long enough. Okay, totally different thing. So, I'm like, why do I have these Bluetooths? When I came in here, they were here. They knew where I moved. I was moving. They found out where I was moving. They came in and infiltrated and put all kinds of Wi-Fi stuff. I mean, all kinds of stuff in my apartment. And they're still here. 
And you guys, just thinking about my life, although I'm not the only victim of gang stalking, please look those terms up, you guys. I, I'm kind of concerned. A lot of people should be concerned because they can hear every, they know I'm doing this video right now. Okay. Although they're all around, they know I'm doing this video right now. And I'm like, uh, okay, this is great. This is great. You're handling my account and I don't know what's going on in your home. Do you even know if you're a victim of gang stalking? And if not gang stalking, can someone hear your conversations? Yeah, you guys be very careful of that. If someone is working out of their home and they're pulling up your information, I know coronavirus is here, you know, and some people have to work out of their home um, on location, but I'm like, Golly, you know, you're able to pull my stuff up like that. What kind of laptop are you using? I mean, is it secure? It's happening right up under our nose. You know, our noses. People are hacking into um, the person, the customer service people that are helping you. They're having, hacking into their, their stuff and they're hearing all of this information, these conversations. What kind of phone are you using um, to do that? I'm just, I'm just curious, like... I mean, is it is it is it with Fort Knox? I mean, what what what's what's going on? Because there's no way, you know, that you should be able to handle people's accounts like that, and at your home. Who lives with you? Uh, what kind of neighbors do you have? You don't even know what's going on behind your back, and and I don't necessarily mean behind your back. I don't mean behind your back. I mean, what's going on with your home? Because. I couldn't do that here where I live because I'm a victim of gang stalking. There's absolutely no way if I work for that company, I could have a laptop or something as a manager, higher tier, sitting in here working on it, knowing that uh, my accounts are, I mean, even my, my, knowing that my own accounts are hacked. Let me say this right. Uh, I got 11 Bluetooths in here that hears everything that I say. And, and of course, it's disseminated to the idiots that are listening. And I'm like, how, if I know I'm not the only victim of gang stalking, so how does that go? And if not gang stalking, just nosy, nosy ass people. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Try not to curse. Try not to curse. Sorry, Lord. I mean, uh, just nosy people. So how or is it that you're handling my account? You guys, once again, please ask people if they're at home when they handle your account. Let them know I don't want someone at home handling my account. I don't know how that's going to go, considering some companies have totally shut down. Um, but, but suggestion, a lot of these companies have money, okay, money, money, money. And I'm like, get those people back to work and go outside the building or something. I don't know how it's, how it's to connect it, you know, how you, how you guys have your infrastructure. But, I mean, can't you build something where they have closed-in cubicles? You know, some, something has to happen because... You and I both know, since I brought it to your attention, this is happening. If someone is in their home, on their laptop, kids are running around, dog is running around, kids' friends are coming over, even with coronavirus, they have the mask on, and scenario, just a scenario, and husband, you don't know what he has going on. Boop, boop, okay. Um, what, what, why are you handling my account in your home, woo-woo? Really? No, you should be very concerned with that. And, you know, you don't know who's visiting the husband. And these are visitors. They're on the top. They're right there in your face. Let's, let's push them to the side. Let's go back to what I said. A lot of people are victims of gang stalking. If not gang stalking, they have their, their live, they live in an apartment, whether nice or not, you know, a nice, 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 nice neighborhood. They may be paying in Texas, you know, don't laugh New Yorkers, but <laughs> they may be paying about $1,200 for a one bedroom. That's, that's steep here in Texas. Very steep, you know, um, 1200 plus. And they're, they're out there in droves, you know, the $1,200 one bedroom apartments. I'm just making a point. Um, New York, you know, it'll be 3000 or probably something like that. I'm just saying the walls, I'm sure the, now here the walls are not touching. My things are, my, 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 my shiggity is happening 
around me and upstairs, okay? But the walls are not touching. These are actually military style apartments and that basically means the walls do not touch. Some of them do in some buildings, you know, different apartments in particular buildings. But this particular uh, building, the walls do not, you know, there's no one's walls that's touching. There's one person's walls that's touching another building over here. Yeah, I forgot. But mine, no, mine, no, at all. And But I'm still being hacked into. I'm still being listened to. I'm still being stalked. I'm still being blah, 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 blah. So my question is, uh, if I, if it's happening to me, and I know and I'm aware of it, what about if it's happening to you and you work for this company and you don't even know? Hmm. Just a question. Just a concern. So I think suggestion, as I said earlier, these companies, if I said suggestion earlier, they need to do something. I This is just really gone, as far as I'm concerned, this has gone overboard. I mean, I'm saying, isn't there another solution? Get those people back to work. Like, you know, home is home and, and, and the work is work and there's a better infrastructure of security at, at the job. You don't know what's going on with these people. You don't know if someone knows who they work for, just minor hacking, just minor spying, and then they find out that person's working at home. Think about that. That person leaves and they use a bump key, one of those terms, to get in that person's place and put um, devices in and all that. This is not conspiracy theory. This is real stuff, you guys. And I, I just don't like how this is going. I think these companies should be more responsible for... Um, Disseminating information just out in the open like that, you know, open, open, open. You don't know who's listening. You really don't. And you can say, well, there's nothing that can be done, Kimmy, because you can run the virus. No, there's something that can be done. Well, well, you need, you need to, owner of the company, you need to, there's, there's, oh gosh, really. There could be a room, okay? You got people that can't get to work. They got the coronavirus. Uh, they've had death in the family. I got it. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about those people who are working remotely from home need to go back to work because you can actually, if you're in a high rise building, you can act going to spend a little money, but the government's going to probably reimburse you. Okay. You know, you can literally like have a room since, since, you know, you probably don't have as many employees, you know, and it may, we may be on hold a little longer, but okay, that's expected. And in these cubicles, they could be like closed little little incubators, you know, like where with a door where that person has to keep their mask on. They have to open, you know, with gla a nice glass door, you know, where you can see in and see the a little office. You can see in and see the person. Okay, you can knock and oh, okay, I'll wait for you out here. That kind of stuff. I don't think that our telephone calls to customer service departments should be handled at home. I just don't. You see the look on my face? I don't work for customer service and I'm concerned because of what's going on with just little old me. So I can imagine it's just me on the planet. Just in, in my in my world. Just imagine other people who work, work for all these companies. You don't know what's going on in their home, you guys. So anyway, I gotta go. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. Post your comments. Also, like the video and uh, don't forget to, sub to, to subscribe. Yeah, I won't be giving this to anyone. Uh, what I am going to do, though, I like making stuff. I have a playlist called, um, uh, not you buy it, you like it. Uh, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Decorating on your budget. So, I am not going to take this couch with me, but I am going to strip the material off of it. And I'm going to make something out of it. Hmm. All right. When life gives you lemons, what do you do? Everybody says it. Everybody said it at the same time. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Now, last thing I want to tell you, I don't have like this editing software right now. Got some laptops. My 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 word my word being that gang stalked has been can't. C A N apostrophe T. I hate the word by default. In my life, it's a part of my vocabulary. Because I can't do a lot of things, you guys. I really can't. I would be me, me, 
you respond to me on, on social media, I'm going to respond back and, and oh, da -da 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 -da, real quick. I'm going to be able to go and never, never did get into my bank accounts like that, you know, online or I, I, I'm, I'm totally against that. But, you know, I would be, I would be fully functional. I cannot be fully functional because of what's going on with me with gang stalking. So a lot of people will start judging and a lot of people will, why come she, you know, my videos, I would have better videos because I would, I would be able to have that software on that laptop where I can, you would never see me get up because it would be edited and you would never see me sit down. It would be edited. Uh, I can't do that. So you're going to see me get up and you're going to see me sit down, you guys, because I have, I have the, the laptops I have, I'm getting rid of them. Um, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm donating one to someone. I got some things to get off. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, to, I just basically have to start my life over. And I told my gang stalkers, and I'm telling you, I told them, this is December 2020. Um, you better cut it out this month. I'm not playing. Five years? Are you serious? Well, I put both my hands up. Five years? You've been, you've been effing with me. Yeah, you you better cut it out this month. I am not joking, you guys. Uh, not getting. Not from the not from not getting the help that I feel I should be getting, and I'm not talking about the apartment complex. I'm not talking about my investigators. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who know my situation, and they're just sitting there like, hope she gets out of that, you know, or like, you know, wow, what is she doing today? No, 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 no. You got the means and the mode to help me. I need your help, and I'm not a beggar by any means of the spectrum. I'm not. I, I, I'm, I, I'm a giving person, very giving, but when I act, when I tell you I need some help, I mean it. Okay, hasta la vista. Buenos Aires, buenas noches, arriba delche, abrevoir, salida. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you, chao bela, chao belo, but some of y'all need to let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Chao bela, chao belo, smooches, gotta go. Bye, and I think toodaloo. Okay. Okay, so like I said, you're gonna see me get up, you're gonna see me sit down. It is what it is what it is. Okay? Post your comments and questions below. I'll address them if I see them, if I don't see them, if I don't post, if I don't respond, I didn't see it. Okay. But keep responding until you keep until you hear get get your girl right here. Okay? All right.